，您的金钱，您的保险，您的选择。A I G 美亚保险。Well, <clears throat> there's a lot of things that are special.、Um, it is small, so you get to know a lot of the students very well and families. That's a special part of it. The curriculum is very unique in that it, um, uh, the、um, omnibus course is. is、um, Is a course in itself that's really outstanding within the whole school, and and that's what attracts people. It's the type and the the、uh, level of literature that the students have to read that attracts a certain kind of student here, and、um, and so you know the relationships among the students,、uh, the courses are always a very unique part of it, and、um, I would say that's probably the areas that are pretty special, relationships and. Particular courses. Well,、uh, yeah, there are a number of classes that we that we have.、Uh, there's a speech and debate course. There's a logic course, and those are very good on getting them up and speaking. I teach apologetics, which is learning how to defend your faith. So, not that everybody believes the same faith, has the same faith, but. It does challenge them, and they get a chance to do a lot of,、um, you know,、uh, speaking and, and communicating what they believe towards certain issues.、Mm -hmm. So、uh, the other class that's as good in that is、uh, thesis. They have to do a 20 to 25 page thesis, which they got to do. They have a year to do all the research, and we discuss a lot of the topics throughout the year. So、uh, it gives them an opportunity to do a lot of that communication as well. And then they do have to present their thesis to the、um, to a panel of professors that we bring in, a, a panel that will then question them. They do a, they present the thesis and then they're、uh, they have to defend the thesis. So those are good opportunities for them to、uh, learn how to discuss, how to think. And I think for most of them, they have been very involved in very concrete things like math and sciences.、Right. And then when they get into a class like an apologetics or,、uh, you know,、uh, or a thesis of that nature, they're now having to kind of think outside the concrete and delve into a different world in a philosophy and understanding why they're here, what's the purpose, answering a lot of big questions in life. Why am I here? What's my purpose in life? Where am I going? What's the value of doing all the things that I'm doing? You know, answering a lot of those questions. I don't know if they have a lot of time in their Their education in China to discuss a lot of those things. There's a great benefit because you know because of the Christian atmosphere, you're in a very loving environment and in an environment where you are allowed to challenge your ideas.、Um, that may not be true in a lot of different schools,、uh, especially in the United States at this point in time. There's a lot of things you can't talk about. In the classroom, if you were at a government school in the United States, you can't bring the Bible in there. You can't discuss something. Here, we want to discuss all the ideas, and the reason is because we don't have any fear. I'm not fearful of hearing what you have to say, or or fearful of a student, you know, sharing his background or his understanding of Buddhism and how it relates to what our Christianity is. Because、uh, I think it's a very good thing for them to discuss all those things, to be exposed to all those things, to have. Wrestled with a lot of those ideas to find out if they're true, so that when they go to college, they're not intimidated, they're not 
uh, caught off guard as to how do I navigate my way through these things. Because American colleges, you're going to find a lot of places where you have to discuss a lot of things of that nature. I think it's more important that they go to the college that is best suited their, their gifting, okay? I may have a child that is gifted to get into Harvard, but it may not be the place for him. Um, certain things that he wants to do, they're not maybe appealing to him. So um, we, try to, we try to instruct our students to go to the place that's going to be best suited for their gifts and their talents. And, um, and be successful. Because you know you know, what's more important than their undergraduate is their graduate school. So to go to a high level gra undergraduate college and then not do very well is gonna be very hard to get into a graduate school. So it'd be better to go to a, a undergraduate college that you feel you can be successful at, do really well, and then go to the top name brand graduate program. That's an important thing. But uh, we have had a number of our students I think last year we had six students at UVA, University of Virginia. Uh, we have two at the, uh, William and Mary right now. This year we've got um, you know student going to New York University. We have a student going to University of Arizona, uh, Loyola uh, College in Chicago, one going to Boston Architectural School, uh, James Madison University. Well, I think it's a very safe environment. I mean, you know, there, there's not a lot they can go out and do. And when they do, we're always there with them. So, I mean, we have a lunch building outside the campus. We always have people on lunch duty. When they have uh, time to just relax, we have faculty that are on duty. Um, they are picked up by their host family and their host parents, pick them up after school, take them home. You know, uh, they get involved in athletics. They get driven back and forth. So. We try to be very careful on making sure that uh, we know where they are at all times, uh, especially the host families. Mm -hmm.